Hello everyone. Today is Friday, November 8th, I believe. Um, I could be wrong. Don't quote me. I got the results of the biopsy. It is a fibro and a noba. It's not cancerous. I may have to get it. My hair is up. I'm not doing nothing. Um, I'm, I'm decluttering. Um, decluttering a lot of stuff. Um, so I'm on the floor in front of the classroom stuff decluttering right now. Um, I had to do stuff to take my mind off everything and I'm in the middle of it and here I'll just show y'all if y'all could see all this do, 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 do. trash over here just a lot of stuff going on but I wanted to let y'all know that thank god I have big bruise on the side of my where it was but um other than that everything's fine um, but I wanted to add something in here about the elections and about Israel. The elections, it is what it is. I've read a lot of articles. I've seen a lot of things. I'm worried about people's mental health right now. I'm sad that people are taking it so hard. Um, on my Facebook page, I put a thing about the reason why she lost um, I didn't vote for her. I didn't vote for him. Um, I had a, a, two teachers in college, my government teacher and my, um, history teacher. And they were like these hippie dudes. Then both of them, they, their names were Smith. It was so funny. And I had them both and they were both like these hippies, but something they said has always stuck with me that your vote is never wasted even if you don't vote for Democrat or Republican. Because if the um, the Green Party or some of those other parties get a certain percentage of the vote, they, they can become a main party, which gives people three options. And if they've both said, if you don't align with over 75% or entirely with where someone stands, then do not vote for them. Vote for the one that aligns with your beliefs more so i don't vote i didn't vote for trump or kamala so i think if people had more teachers like that this world would probably have been a better place if they actually listened people could have had a teacher like that and just didn't listen but some people their education levels and the fact that they just go by what mainstream media tells them and what the movie stars and all the people on facebook and instagram and youtube tell them it's obvious and I feel so bad for them and I've been praying for some of them because some of them look genuinely hurt some of them are genuinely afraid as a person who was raised in church I can tell you you are not supposed to judge people you are not it's not your place you're supposed to accept everyone and love everyone and treat them as if you wanted to be treated that being said it is not my place to tell you who to love. It is not the government's place to tell you who to love. Um, you can love whoever you want. You don't need to be afraid because 99% of the people will still stand behind you if you choose to love same sex, same, a different race, whatever. Because that isn't, if they're paid attention, that isn't their place to judge that. That is not, that is anything, if it is actually wrong and that is what the Bible says, whatever. I've, I've seen things in the Bible, but I've also seen the one thing that makes sense. Do not judge. That is between him and heaven and you when you get there. That is not our place on earth to judge you. We are not perfect. None of us are. All right. That being said, also with the Israel thing, I was in tears all night last night with everything happening in Amsterdam. And this morning I got up and I seen some things and I have decided to take a stance and I'm gonna make it public. I've made it public everywhere else and I've never backed down from how I feel. I stand with Israel, period. I even got myself a little thing. Um, I want to get a better one. I want, I'm trying to find the perfect one and then I'll give this to Eric or Jason because this is a little heavy for me. But I wanted something that can outwardly show my support. Um, I stand with them. I don't believe the terrorists. I don't believe they're not doing something that they're doing something different than the United States would have done. I believe they are protecting their people. 
And I believe that people have the right to go to a soccer game in another country and not be attacked, run down in the streets. I'm trying not to cry because I was crying all night. But my stance is, is it sad what's happening in Gaza? Yes. But it's also sad that Gaza allowed Hamas to become so powerful and so ingrained into their infrastructure and they didn't protect their children. Your children should always be protected. If there was a way for you to get out, if there was a way for you to move before all that happened, they don't have water, they don't have all that, but you know, I'm not getting into everything, but I mean, Hamas was literally digging up the water pipes and making bombs and l rocket launchers out of them. <laughs> I mean, let's face it, some of this is self-imposed. Um, and people are paying attention to the numbers of dead. But those numbers, every time I see them released, says that Hamas says that's how many people were killed. And I don't know about you, I don't believe a terrorist. I don't know how many have been killed by Israel. I don't know how many have been killed by Hamas because people love to be mar martyrs over there and I don't understand it. But for me and my peace, and knowing I'm doing the right thing, I just want to make it known that I stand with Israel. I stand with God's people. I don't know if that's going to lose me, people, if that's going to get me hate. And honestly, I don't care. If you don't stand for something, then what are you doing? If you don't stand for what's right, what are you doing? So, yeah, I may not look the best right now because I'm literally sitting on the floor cleaning out school stuff and toys that he don't use and everything else under God's creation that's in this room that I'm trying to get rid of. But I wanted y'all to know I love you and that I was healthy and I would be okay. And where I stand on some of these issues and I am very sad for the world at this point. And I feel people need to find something they believe in and stand behind it but they also need to get their mental health checked because some of this that's happening around the world and the way people are reacting to it is even in the United States, it is just there. They need help on both sides. People that I've seen this Nick Fuentes thing going around. Oh my God, that dude needs help. So I'm not saying it's just the left. I'm not saying it's just the right. I'm saying everyone needs to think about their mental health and protect it. And that's what I'm doing. So I know this is a makeup channel and I talk about my house and I talk about all this and I've never really gotten deep into these kind of things, but I feel I have to show who I am to y'all because I've always done this channel on keeping it realistic. And this is real. This is how I feel. I feel people need help. <laughs> I feel Israel is doing anything any other country would have done and all these people trying to make them out to be the bad guy must not have actually paid attention on October 7th because if someone broke into your house or came into your community and did that would you be appreciating people saying you're wrong I just don't get it but I love y'all have a great day and I'm going to try to get to videos soon I got caught up all in this when I started having mental health problems with dealing with possibly having cancer. So I hope y'all are good and I'll see you in the next one. Love you. Bye.